All right, and hello, welcome back to episode two of Life is Strange. Uh, as you can see up there, Blackwell Academy, that is where I am standing. So we're going to figure out what to do next. I'm going to talk to this lady. No, I don't want to talk to that lady. Um, I wonder if I can go home. Oh, what? Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Where the fuck is it? Where are the dorms? Nope, I don't want to go there. But where do I go? I have no clue where to go. Um, I have no clue where to find out where to go, so I'm just going to go this way. Dormitories. Oh, I guess. Okay, it's not that open world. That's fine. Come on, Logan. Bring it, bro. Bring it, brah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Yeah. Okay, so how do I get it in the building if these bitches are blocking the way? Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Nice. Ow. No. Oh, there's literally just a door here. Uh, that I can't fucking open. Okay, what do I gotta do? Dude. Nice, bro. <gasps> what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Nice, bro. Yeah. Keep walking, hippie. What do I gotta do? There's nothing in here. Okay, so these yeah. guys fucking suck. Go on. Yeah, they're catching it, but they're like. Yeah, what I must have missed something. I should rewind.
Okay, let's see if this works. The fuck did I do? Oh, did I loosen one of the things? Pain is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. No. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? <laughs> Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now, please move. I've had a messed up day, and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hurry, Courtney! Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Hmm. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. My favorite cocoon. This is a nice dorm. This is pretty, pretty good. Nice. <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a B Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a f serious false charge and that he is worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so that we can talk about I look so pathetic. I am so addicted to this sight. Look at these vintage beauties. Lauren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Where is that flash drive? I want to play the guitar. I don't like it. I'm already pissed off at myself for doing that. Serious, where those fucking flash drive? I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. I like it better. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. I borrowed your drive? Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Fucking Dana, bruh. I feel like I'm gonna get 
You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting <gasps> her boyfriend. What? Ouch. What? How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Ah, oh, shit. Probably Patson. Juliet Pats. Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the Fuck. way, Juliet Watson. Motherfucker, dude. Hey, Juliet. Is. Oh, yes, Max. I've. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of you course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you don't let me out, would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Hey, Juliet. It's oh, yes, Max. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I uh of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after you your boyfriend? Out, According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria. Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Shit. God damn it. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yeah. Juliet. I'm flattered. Uh, thanks. You are ridiculous. How do you. Victoria. You. According According to Vic She saw the sex. Max, I swear that if you don't let me out, I will scream. Ugh. Oh shit, I'm gonna get caught. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Obviously, something. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Yeah, but how... This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I don't even remember what it said. Uh. 
Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. <sighs> so people just go into each other's Almost rooms? Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> what? Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. <laughs> Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And She's to not pull even that, that prank pretty. on a friend? Gah. Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. He likes me. Where the fuck do I go now? This shit. Get oh. lost, hipster. I'm not doing Damn. any interview. I better rewind. I could almost feel sorry for him. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Get lost, hip. Fuck this shit. Ow. Get that lost, hurt. hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Whatever. Fuck this shit. Ouch, poor Alyssa. That'll leave a bruise. Oh, that's. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Huh. This action will have consequences. Well, obviously, yeah, there's a good old broken shit now. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. I'll intervene. Fuck this. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I don't know if that was bad. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but...
I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. <laughs> ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. I'm making new friends. Max, get your ass over here. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. <laughs> cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. Ah, oh, whatever. No I want to talk, dude. I took a sweet shot of Victoria. I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty Sorry things she's done to people here. That, uh, so did you get a chance to check the out mic. the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Oh. You know what? I s I've it. seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch. That sounds awful the way you say it. This is awkward. How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh, <laughs> God. You need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. You know, I, I need, need to talk to, to talk. somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Oh, Jefferson's shit, class today. Like me I mean, life changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Answer I me, I told bitch. him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Thank in the bathroom. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go, go, I got this. Get in, Max. Get Why? your punk asses out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> But Warren. All right, so let's leave it on a cliffhanger. Um, this is the end of episode two. Hope you guys enjoyed. I did. This is actually pretty fucking fun. So yeah, 
I'll see you guys next time. Episode 3.